So welcome back guys. Today we're gonna take some pine logs and turn them into some really nice true two by sixes. These are the pine logs that we're gonna be working with. They've been laying here for a little while, but uh, they still seem to be in really, really good shape. So I think we're gonna get some really nice lumber out of these. This order is only 15 boards. So we're gonna go until we get 15 and then we're gonna be done. Before we get started today, I wanna give somebody a shout out. If you haven't noticed within the last month or two, the channel logo has changed. And I need to give credit to a gentleman named Henry Jackson. Henry and I have been friends for about 17 years or so now, and uh, he has recently to start. Excuse me. He has recently started a graphic design business called old orange canoe design studio and i struggled for a very long time trying to find a channel logo that i liked and i am not a graphic designer my head my brain just does not work like that uh, but he worked with it for a little while had a vision of what he uh, kind of thought the channel represented and uh, he came up with that we worked together for a little bit and i really really like it so if y'all have any graphic design needs i'm going to put all of his contact information in a, a pinned comment down below in the comment section give him a shout out he is a very talented individual and I'm certain that he can help you out. Uh, let's go ahead and get some logs cut. Works better if you clamp your logs down. So I wanted to stop real quick and kind of explain what I'm doing, why I'm flipping this log so much. So the uh, board that I just took off, that one is a two inch board and we're gonna put it back on the mill and cut it down to six and get our uh, two by six out of it. But I flipped it over again so that I could take about an inch and a quarter off right here to get this down to a six inch cant. And if I take a little more off right here, I'll have less wane and I might be able to salvage uh, maybe one more board out of this out of this cant once it gets cut down. So uh, that's the reason I'm flipping this so much.
So now we've got our six inch cant out of that and uh, it is looking like some super nice wood up under there. So now we're just gonna flip it over one more time and uh, put it on that flat edge and get our boards out of it. So right in the middle of this log, uh, we've got some wain right here, there's some bark right there. And you're supposed to be able to take the clamp and clamp it to the bottom of the log. But of course, it just doesn't clamp into bark very well. So I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit and uh, be really careful about bringing the blade down too far. That should do it. So that main cant in that log got us five two by sixes. These four right here, including the one I had to throw down to make sure the mill could get down on the rest of these. But this is some great, great looking stuff. Let me get something and clear out this sawdust so y'all can see. I wish that I could show you with a measuring tape what the dimensions are, but I don't know myself because I forgot a measuring tape today. I'm relying on the mill to make sure my measurements are right. There's number six. I probably could have taken these edges here and uh, been a little more careful and made a two by four out of them, but oh well. I think I'm gonna put that little board on the mill and edge it as well.
So I'm trying to be really, really careful on this log. This log right now is 12 and a quarter inches from here to here. So what I'm gonna do is drop down from here to here about six inches and then go from the bottom to the top about six inches. That should give me two cans and I should be able to get quite a few boards out of this one log. So I mentioned earlier that I'm using the mill to get all of the measurements on these boards because I didn't bring my measuring tape today. And this is the reason that I'm able to do that. So you can see over here, there's a depth gauge, but this wheel has built in measurements in it as well. And basically how it works is uh, one full turn represents two inches. So if I were to turn this one full turn, either way, it'll either lower the blade or raise the blade two inches. So what I want to do on this next cut is I want to make a six inch cant from the very top of the log, the flat part that I just made on the log to, it'll be close to the middle of the log really. So what I'll need to do is turn this three full turns. So one, two, three, that gives me six inches, but I got to account for the curve of the blade as well. So I'll go two notches to account for that eighth of an inch curve. And that should give me pretty close to a six inch cant. Then on the next one, we'll just go down a little bit and use the depth gauge to get a six inch cant from the bottom of the bunks on the mill to the top of the new cant. And there used to be a very common question on the channel that if I've got so much weight on top of this blade, is it not binding the blade, putting a lot of friction and pressure on it? And the answer is no. And I've got my GoPro today, so I'm not going to get a very good focused shot on this, but I'll try to demonstrate or show rather why that it just doesn't happen that way. So these blade teeth, they're not straight. So this tooth right here is set down just a little bit. This tooth is straight and this next tooth is set up just a little bit. So what this does, it gives you about an eighth, an eighth of an inch leading edge or curve and that clears out a path basically for the rest of the blade, uh, the body of the blade back here to kind of ride through. So it doesn't bind, it doesn't do anything. You could put, I mean, theoretically you could put 20 feet of uh, 20 feet of weight on top of these blades and it just wouldn't affect anything because number one, you've got this uh, wide gap that it makes and number two, there's sawdust holding the weight up. So I went ahead and made a two inch cut on the top of the log and got my first two two by sixes out of this cant because now what I'll be able to do is flip it over and have a good sharp corner 
right here, or actually it'll be right here, but on the other side, so that my, um, I think they call these pucks or something like that, so that the puck will be able to, to latch into that, uh, that cant from the bottom side like it's supposed to be. So what I'll do now, and I do this even if I don't have a measuring tape, I just look at my depth gauge and I'll make a note that I'm at 8 and about 11 sixteenths or so, and then I'll back up the head of the mill and drop it down from uh, 8 and 11 sixteenths to, oh sorry, one full turn, so two inches, plus two notches for the curve. Alright guys, so that has got our 15 2 by 6s I actually got 16 out of that, so that was pretty good. Plus a, there's that little thin one right there that we cut off the other side of that first log. It's probably an inch or something like that. Um, I can do something with that probably. But uh, anyway, yeah, that turned out really good. Uh, I'm going to go to the house. Once I get to the house, I'll get the measuring tape out and uh, see how good it all did. All right, so I've got a measuring tape and I have not checked these yet, so let's see how I did just using the mill. So, well, five and three quarter, that's not, not quite what I wanted. Let's check another one. Now let's check this one. 
That one is exactly six. And this one is about five and seven eighths. And this one pretty much, it's got some wane on that edge, so it's kind of tough to tell, but it's about six, maybe. Actually, it's pretty much exactly six on that one. Let's look at them on edge. Let's check on the thickness of a couple of these. That one's exactly two. That one's exactly two. And that one's ex almost exactly two, real, real close. So really, we're within about a quarter of an inch. That's kind of disappointing, actually. Thankfully, the gentleman that's gonna use them is gonna use them for, um, some, for some rough construction. So it's not gonna be a, a huge deal on that quarter of an inch, but either way so guys not entirely <clears throat> sure what happened on that one cant we're about a quarter of an inch off which isn't all that great but i'll let the guy know i will um make sure he knows that that's about a quarter of an inch off on some of those boards i don't envision it being a problem uh, he's making kind of a rough homestead type cabin and this is going to be part of the rafters on the shed so i don't envision it being a problem i'll make sure he knows about it and if he needs some uh some that are exactly six i can certainly make those but anyway that's gonna do it for this video i uh, thank y'all for watching and i'll see you on the next one did you see I just flew away. which way did it go that way what color was it green it was a green butterfly it was. what was it doing um it, it's just flying around just flying around yeah. where do you think it's going nowhere nowhere going to the piggies with us. The butterflies going to the piggies with us? Yeah. Okay.